So, Janetta, is there a specific diet that people can follow for IBS-C? Because uh, many symptoms from IBS-C are brought on by food, uh, changes in your in diet are a very popular option for many patients. And there are a lot of diets out there that claim to improve symptoms uh, for patients with IBS-C. One specific diet is a diet uh, called a low FODMAP diet. FODMAP is an acronym for fermentable oligodi monosaccharide and polyol. And these are foods that have, contain sugars that can often cause symptoms for many patients with IBS-C. While this is a very popular diet and definitely probably plays a role for many patients with their symptoms, it's really important to undertake changes uh, to your diet with the help of your physician and your dietitian, who are specially trained in helping manage this. Because you don't want to eliminate so many foods from your diet and then not add back foods. So it is a good way of, of identifying symptoms, i.e., are you getting better or not, but it is not something that, uh, that they should stay on. Oh, definitely not. It's very important to identify the, the foods that cause symptoms for you and then add back other foods to your diet so you can have a healthy and well-balanced diet. So if a patient wants to know, is there some specific test or something that they can do to connect their diet problem with their IBS symptoms, what can they do? There are certain tests called breath tests, which can help identify specifically which, uh, which foods are giving you problems. And those breath tests can include evaluation for a fructose intolerance, fructan, lactose, sorbitol, and sucrose. So can you give us one example of what you mean by fructose or lactose? I don't know if all of us understand that. Sure. Many patients probably have heard of eliminating lactose, which is a sugar um, that can cause symptoms for many patients. And fructose um, is an example of, of sugars that are in fruits. fruits. So interestingly, surprisingly, um, many patients uh, think they're eating a very healthy diet um, and because many of these, these sugars are in very healthy foods, but these, these healthy foods might be causing symptoms for them. And then you mentioned fructans. What are fructans? So fructans are a certain kind of sugar um, that is, for instance, uh, prevalent in wheat. Mm -hmm. And that can definitely cause symptoms for many people. And then sorbitol? That is present? Sorbitol in... is present in um, artificial sweeteners and... Um... Chewing gum. And... Yes, exactly. Oh. Yeah. So all of these, uh, there are tests available now that, yes. that, yeah, that you can do. And that can really help to more specifically define a food component that may be triggering the patient's symptoms. 